okay so here we are going to learn uh, we are going to go through each and every requ uh, requirements and accordingly we'll analyze them okay uh, i will also try to create some user stories so we can uh, follow the develop use them for the development purpose so here web application so i think uh, in the web application we should have the technology which i can think of okay web application technologies okay so technology can be give me a minute someone has just annotated on the screen okay now so technologies right so i think uh, for web application we can use asp.net core mvc okay i think uh, this will be good uh, for front end i would like to create the apis actually so sp.net dot net core web apis and for front end i think i will use plain html css javascript this should work these are the technologies for web development okay next one is android application okay so for android application uh, technologies right so for android application we can use not uh, this is plain html css javascript jquery ajax why why plain uh, technologies i am choos choosing here because uh, if you know the core technologies you can understand any framework very easily like angular or react okay so that's why plain technologies we are using then uh, you can anytime integrate your any uh, front end framework angular or react no problem in that okay uh, for android application i guess we will use uh, the ionic do you know ionic ionic is the uh, like uh, one of the technology which will help you to create application in uh, web technologies like front end can be angular react or these plain technologies back end can be dot net core and you can convert that web application into the android application okay by using the ionic ionic or cordova okay uh, phone gap so these are old technologies now phone gap and cordova but ionic we can still use okay so we'll use that otherwise we need to use android student android sdk okay so this also we can use in order to develop the android application uh, then by using the ionic we can create dot apk file and we can create dot ipa file okay or iphone now i think uh, we are good with the technologies i'm just thinking about little bit more if we are not doing any let's decide the technologies because whatever technology we will choose we will stick with that till the end of the development i think uh, .NET core i am finalized i have finalized it because it is very strong platform for building the web apis okay so we'll definitely use the .NET core web apis okay for database we will definitely use sql server okay sql server in microsoft sql server and then for communication with the database we will use the ntt framework okay ntt framework code first approach code first approach okay and then for ui technology i guess let's use this one or we can use a uh, mvc architecture as well okay from mvc we can anytime call the aps that's that is completely fine okay let's check i think let's uh, use html css javascript jquery ajax with the with the asp.net mvc let's do that okay so you will get to know 
MVC architecture along with all these plain technologies. Okay, we'll use that and we'll try to develop the core.NET Core APIs for our Android application. So this is the I think finalized technology stacks. We are going to use these many technologies here to develop these two applications. Okay, let me stop the recording. Okay, uh, wait. Uh, we wanted to analyze the requirement as well, right? In the session only. So here, uh, let's quickly go through all the requirements one more time. We will have two panels, sub-admin panel, admin panel. Once you log in, we will identify uh, the role. And according to that role, we will log into the account and we'll show these many pages. And these pages will be hide and show automatically on the basis of current role. So let's say admin has login. So he should be able to access all these pages. Let's say sub-admin has login. He should be able to access only few few pages only. Accordingly, uh, we will identify role for trainer and we will only show these many models to him. Okay, we'll have one login page, one inquiry form, and then uh, let's discuss and this technologies later. But yeah, let's focus on this. So I think uh, requirements are very straightforward. Uh, for courses, definitely we re uh, require uh, the courses table, batches table, trainers table, students table. Okay, so all these things we definitely require and uh, we'll create those by using the entity framework core, code first approach. Okay, so we also need to discuss about database structure. Okay, let me do that here only. Okay, so this is your web. This is your Android. Now, database structure. Okay, we'll see the database structure in the next session. Let me stop the recording.